How to make study notes. Most students worldwide face two nagging problems that are applicable to most schools, colleges, and universities. The first problem is badly written or complex textbooks. And the second problem is teachers who don't teach or give notes in a manner that they can understand. Hence, students often slog to make study notes on their own. However, not everyone is capable of making good useful notes as they end up blindly copying lecture notes from other students or copying entire chapters from expensive reference books and so on. But this is not the right way to make notes. In order to make great notes that can help breeze through exams and also gain accurate knowledge the following method has to be used. Let us assume that you are a student who needs notes for a physics syllabus prescribed by your university. The first thing you need to do is buy or borrow three to four popular textbooks by different authors that cover the syllabus. In addition, you should also have notes and solved problems books available from other sources like senior students. Having a book of solved problems will greatly accelerate your learning process. Otherwise, you will waste a lot of time brainstorming on how to solve complex problems. Remember time travels fast and exams will approach even faster. Think of these textbooks and solve problems notes as fruit trees. I will explain why later. Then, you should begin making your notes in the following way. Let us assume that the first chapter is about the principles of electricity. Now read the first chapter from the first textbook. Then read the first chapter from the second textbook and the first chapters from the third and fourth textbooks. By reading the first chapter from each of the four textbooks you will notice that each author would have explained the same concept in his or her own way. But you will notice that some electricity concepts are explained very well in textbook 1 while some other concepts are explained very well in textbook 2. When I say explained very well, it means you are able to easily grasp that concept from the sentences or examples used by that author. Next, read the first chapter of each book again a few times. By reading multiple times you will get a confident idea of what should be covered in chapter 1. Now you will be in a position to make notes, which I will now explain how. To start making notes, use the question and answer method. This is the best method to learn any subject. For example, for the electricity chapter you can write questions like, define electricity, what are its properties? How is electricity generated? What are the sources of electricity? And so on. Now write answers to these questions by selecting the best possible explanations from the four textbooks. That is you have to suck the essence from all textbooks. When I say essence I mean you should hunt for the finest definition, the best possible sentences, and the perfect words for that question or concept that makes sense to you. For example, textbook 1 may have the best definition of what is electricity. Textbook 2 may have the best explanation for the properties of electricity. Remember we classified each textbook as a fruit tree. Now your notes will be a basket of the best fruits or sentences from each textbook. This way your notes, or basket, will be an excellent collection of fruits, or questions and answers, for your physics study. Apart from textbooks, you can also refer to other sources like the internet, the solved problems notes, etc., and make your notes even better. In a similar way, 
you should read chapter 2 multiple times and extract the essence from the second chapter of all four textbooks. Then proceed to chapter 3, 4, and so on. After you do the same for each of the chapters you will have a fantastic set of study notes. While referring to multiple textbooks and making notes may seem exhausting you will soon realize that this is a one-time effort that will make your life easy later. If you somehow slog once you can make a sparkling set of notes that you can be proud of. Secondly, the biggest advantage of this exercise is you don't have to refer to any more textbooks later. Your notes will be the only book that you need to study and practice throughout the course. Secondly, as you would have taken pains to write the sentences the concepts would have embedded firmly in your brain. Isn't this a great way to make notes? Use the same method for all your other subjects. Now some more tips. Learn speed reading. This will accelerate your notes creation. Learn to eliminate fluff, repetitive words and sentences, and avoid using double negatives. Example, not uncommon, not unhappy. By following this method, in about three months time, you will have an excellent set of notes for all subjects. Then you can spend the remaining time studying and practicing these notes. Next, as a precaution, you should guard your notes carefully and make multiple copies because if you lose or damage them, then you will have to do it all over again. Finally, we can end this video with a Chinese proverb that says, the palest ink is better than the most retentive memory.